Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. In my first video, we discussed remote administration tools and how they can be installed on other vulnerable systems to then be covertly used to spy on what the user is doing. This included keylogging. Today, I thought we could put a couple things on the back burner and go over small things like this, and maybe we can expand on that idea a little bit. As you can guess, this video is about hardware keyloggers. Many people are probably familiar of what a software keylogger is, as it's essentially malware installed on a computer to collect keystrokes. A hardware keylogger is essentially the same thing, but it just works differently. Essentially, a hardware keylogger, as you may have guessed, is a device that is plugged in between a computer and a keyboard to collect keystrokes, allowing any person to covertly spy on the user they are trying to collect information on. For obvious reasons, the attacker will need to have physical access to the system they are trying to install the hardware keylogger on. This is really the biggest downfall of them, as you can't remotely install it. However, the biggest pro is that it's usually not picked up by any antivirus software as it is a physical device. Not only are wired keyboards vulnerable to hardware keyloggers, but many wireless keyboards are too since they don't use encryption most of the time. There have been some keyboards that have been developed with encryption over the years, but this vulnerability generally remains apparent. There are actually have been a few cases where people have used hardware keyloggers in the real world. One great example is students trying to change their grades and test scores. There was a case back in 2017 where a student at KU changed their grades using a hardware keylogger from F's to A's. The same thing happened with another student from the University of Birmingham where they plugged in keyloggers into several staff computers in an effort to change their grades. In 2015, there was another incident where someone at a German wing newspaper found a hardware keylogger in a newsroom, where it turned out that a reporter was spying on and collecting data from other employees. Other malicious uses would entail stealing passwords, credit card numbers, and more. These are just a few examples of their malicious use in the real world, but there are other arguably legitimate uses for keyloggers as well, such as IT troubleshooting, computer product development, business server monitoring, informed consent of employee surveillance to protect company property, or even for monitoring your children's online activities. However, while all of this can technically be legal depending on where you are, this strikes a moral gray area for some things. All I can say is use it at your own discretion and risk. It really just depends on what you're using it for. The keylogger I have in question that we'll be taking a look at today is a Wi-Fi based hardware keylogger I got from keylog.com called the AirDrive Forensic Keylogger. It has the capability to log keystrokes on a keyboard over Wi-Fi so you can look at what the user is typing in real time. There's now no need to retrieve the keylogger until you have the information you desire from the victim. Simply plug the device into the computer you wish to spy on, plug the keyboard peripheral into the keylogger, navigate to your computer or phone, and you should see an access point that says air followed by a number. Type in the IP address listed for your device, in this case mine is 192.168.4.1, then you will be connected to the device from a web interface. You will now be able to see everything that the user is typing without needing to retrieve the device. In the settings menu, you can change things such as access point name, the security type, password, or to hide the access point, among other things. You can also clear the logs in the settings in case you don't need them anymore. The pro version allows you to do things such as live stream the log keystrokes in almost 100% real time, meaning that you can view the individual typing from your network over UDP with much less latency. You will, however, need to know the victim's IP address in order to do this. You can also get email reports of when the user is typing, time stamping, and even hack barcode readers to see what is being scanned in real time. Well, that's about all I have to say for this video. I apologize if it was short, but I definitely have more ideas coming your way soon. I would highly recommend checking out Keylog's website as well. They sell many different types of keyloggers in different form factors, as well as things for serial devices like RS-232. Aside from that, I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.